Look at my little baby. I want to grow this. So recently we were at a family gathering and one of Brandon's cousins said that she couldn't make tuna salad and I was really surprised by this because tuna salad, tuna salad sandwiches, is one of the easiest things to make. So I thought about it for a little while and the other day I was watching Gordon Ramsay's The F Word Show, fantastic. He was having a cook-off with the rock star Meatloaf and they were doing tuna casserole cook-off which inspired me to make my own dish. So today I'm going to make a tuna salad using fresh produce from my backyard and something a little out of the ordinary to replace the regular celery. One of the virtues of having a backyard garden is that you can just pop right outside and grab whatever you need. I need a few, about one large handful of regular flat leaf Italian parsley. What I'm grabbing here is about three stalks of Swiss chard. Just how beautiful that is. I want everything I wear to be this color. My hair was this color a long time ago. So anyway, you want good unblemished, firm leave, good stalks that aren't droopy. So check out, we have heirloom tomatoes over there. There's like three different kinds of tomatoes growing, but this over to the fence side is heirloom tomatoes. And this is what one of them looks like. <laughs> they tend to look a little weird, but this is a not disgusting. Very There's spiders crawling all over. <laughs> Go. To start, drain one can of tuna and add to a separate bowl. Roughly chop a handful of parsley. The Swiss chard replaces the celery in a typical tuna salad. And this is in quite an abundance in July and August, but it has such a beautiful color. The stems are either pink or white, but the bright pink, I think, adds such a beautiful color, and it has a really good bite. You can also use the entire plant, the leaves included, which we're going to cut up into little strips and toss right in the bowl. Add chopped olives to the tuna. In a separate bowl, add half a cup canola mayonnaise and three quarters of a cup of sour cream. Add Dijon mustard and capers and mix well. So put the tuna into a large bowl two cans of tuna, going to feed a lot of people. Okay. And then we're going to add the Swiss chard greens and stems along with the parsley. And that needs to be folded in together. I right, add another can of tuna. Again, this is really versatile. You can just add it up, change stuff to your own needs. When this is all mixed together, then you add the mayonnaise dressing with the balsamic vinegar and the strong mustard. And then mix it up again. Mm. That is so good. And just the right kind of bite to it.